doing? This is Chris Stoli from Steadfast Nursery. Let's talk about how to plant a plant. What am I supposed to do? How deep am I supposed to plant it? What situation am I supposed to plant it in? First thing you need to remember is go online or go to your, your local nursery or your local library and ask and research what kind of plants do I need for a part sun, a full sun, or a full shade situation. And you will find tons of good plants. Now, I'm gonna show you how to correctly plant a plant. Some people say, oh, I don't wanna plant it myself, and you can hire somebody to do it. I love doing that. Uh, but it's something that you could do yourself, easily, if you just remember a, a few simple things. First of all, is it in the right situation? Uh, re after you've researched it, and you found out I have a part shade area here, what kind of plants would be best for a part shade area? A great plant is this plum pudding heuchera. Uh, it has very interesting foliage and uh, even a bonus of flowers, and that lasts all season long. In fact, some varieties are evergreen and they'll last all winter long too and provide winter interest. How do you plant this and give it the best shot it's got for growing and thriving? Let's talk about it. First thing you have to do is, when you go to the nursery, look at your plants. Don't buy something that's sickly. You'll, you, if you kill it, you'll think it was you. When, truth be told, it was probably the plant. They, they can have diseases. Look on the bottom of the leaves. Does it have powdery mildew? Are there little bugs on there? If there are, run away. Go to a better nursery. Get out of the big box store. Find a plant that doesn't have any diseases, that doesn't have any pest issues, and it'll have a great chance of thriving in the right situation. So this plant likes it in part shade, and that's exactly where this spot is. Now, dig a hole. When you dig a hole, only dig it to the bottom of the root ball. Don't dig deeper, because it, it often will settle, and your plant will now be lower than the ground level at which it should be planted. The crown of the plant, which is right here at the top of the plant, the crown should always be level with the ground, never lower. In fact, even in some situations, I'll stick them just a little bit higher so that when they do settle, it'll be even and level. I've made the mistake of planting them too deep and thrown a lot of money away that way because they die. They, they get drowned in that deep hole. So pop it out of its, its pot. The way you do that is turn it over. Um, don't grab it by the leaves and yank it out. Just turn it over and squeeze the bottom of the pot until it comes out. Great opportunity to take a look at the root ball here. Is it all congested? This is not. This is great. The roots are just coming to the bottom of the plant, therefore it won't go into a, to a dormancy. When I stick it into the ground, it'll immediately begin sticking its roots into the ground. So the root ball of this plant sits right, the, the crown of this plant sits right at ground level. Now this soil here is bad. It's bad soil. It's, it's hard clay soil. It, it retains a lot of uh, moisture until it dries out and then it's hard to get it rehydrated again. It doesn't drain well. So what I've done is I have amended the soil that I pulled out of here. I mixed it with compost and it immediately changes the color and consistency. And then I'll start adding right around the root ball. And here, see, it's kind of sticking up, but I'm going to push it down in. I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm going to push it down in. Now I need some more. So let me show you how to mix your soil. I will get some good crumbly soil here. Uh, the soil that I pulled out, I'll make sure that it's not big clods or anything like that. I'll stick them into a bucket. Then I'll put equal parts compost. And if you see, compost is dark brown. It is a good, broken down plant material that, you, that will feed your plant, that will condition the soil. And your new plant will love it. I've got a mixed here in my bucket, and then I continue to fill around that root ball. I'm not going over the top of the root ball. I'm going around it because I don't want any more on the top here. So all those voids all the way around this plant, I will fill in with soil until it's level, it's even. It's almost 
there. If you take the time to get this right, then your, your, your plant will have a good chance to survive and thrive. And it'll give you much enjoyment for the years to come. Now I look around here and I've, I've pressed that soil into that pocket now. Now I take my mulch and I'll push my mulch, not all the way up to the crown, but up to where I just dug that soil out. This will help the plant to retain moisture. Look how good that looks. The last step is always an important one. It is to completely and thoroughly water in this plant. Now you don't have to do that every day because this plant does not like to be drowned. Some plants have, like daylilies, they're, they're apathetic. You know, they, they don't really care. This one, if it gets drowned, it will die instantly, <laughs> as it seems. But, uh, so I will thoroughly water it in, and then I'll check it in two or three days. And then, if sticking my fingers down in, it, it's pretty dry again, I will thoroughly water it again. You do that, you know, once, twice a week, for a few weeks, and then you can start leaving it for a couple weeks, maybe even three. Um, and always check in with your finger to see what, what the moisture situation is right around that root ball. And within a season, this thing will take off and it'll be beautiful. So this is Chris Stoli from Steadfast Nursery and that's how you plant a plant.